Today we're going to be talking about how to add and subtract decimals. We have our standard for this section, which leads us to our learning goal, where we hope that we can understand how to solve addition and subtraction problems involving decimals with some guidance. It's really important to remember to line up your decimals when adding and subtracting so that you get the correct answer. Let's start with addition. We have 7 and 12 hundredths and 3 and 23 hundredths. Remember that we need to make sure that we're lining up those decimals so that our place values are in the right position. We have 7 and 12 hundredths written and now we need to write 3 and 23 hundredths. Remember that those decimals, they need to sit right on top of one another so all of our place values line up correctly. And then we just add like we know how to do. 2 plus 3, 5. 1 plus 2 is 3 got to remember to bring you down your decimal. And then 7 plus 3 is 10. So we have an answer of 10 and 35 hundredths. Let's try another one. We have 8 and 8 hundredths plus 2 and 78 hundredths. We have everything lined up like it should be, so then we go ahead and add 8 plus 8, we know is 16. We drop our 6, carry our 1. 7 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. Bring down your decimal to keep our place values. 8 plus 2 is 10, so we have an answer of 10 and 86 hundredths. Let's look at subtraction. Same thing with addition. The most important rule to remember is to line up your decimals and place values in the correct order. We have 18 and 75 hundredths minus 9 and 23 hundredths. We go ahead once we have the, our place values lined up correctly and our decimals one above the other and subtract. 5 minus 3 we know is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. We bring down our decimal. Can't forget to do that. We have to do 8 minus 9, which we can't do. So we're going to have to borrow from the tens place, making this a 1. Making 8 now an 18. 18 minus 9 is 9, leaving us with an answer of 9 and 52 hundredths. Let's try one last one together. We have a whole number of 10, but it's still important that we have those two zeros on the end so that we are able to line up our place values. And we are subtracting 7 and 28 hundredths from 10. Our first um, part of this problem asks us to do 0 minus 8, which we know we can't do. So we look at the number to the left, which is still a 0. We keep looking, another 0. We have to go all the way over to the tens place to borrow. This 1 becomes a 0, making this become a 10. We still have to borrow from it. It becomes a 9, making this a 10. We still need to borrow to start with our very first part of the problem, though, making this a 9, making that 0 become a 10. Now we can start to solve this problem. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9, remember that we're working up here with this number that we had to borrow from. 9 minus 2 is 7. Don't forget to bring your decimal down. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then, of course, 0. There's nothing left on that side, meaning our answer is 2 and 72 hundredths. Try this addition problem on your own, as well as this addition problem. Then try this subtraction problem. We have this subtraction problem, and then also this subtraction problem. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.